Welcome back to Kearsarge Valley Magazine. I am Lynn Solomon and joining me are my capable assistants, Rhett and Brooke. And we are here to work on some summer crafts because the kids are out of school or they're soon to be out of school and we'll need some things to keep them busy. So we have been busy doing some tie dyeing. You can see that Rhett is modeling a couple things. This is a bandana we made for our dog. But more importantly, she's got a swirl design shirt which we're going to show you how to make today. And Brooke will show off our polka dot pillowcase that we made. You can show both sides. So uh, the first thing you need are a pair of rubber gloves because you do not want to put your hands in that dye bath. You'll never get it out. Some elastics. This is what makes the tie dye effect. And some simple writ dye. It comes in both powder and liquid form. Um, I found actually that the powder was a little bit more concentrated and it's less expensive, so that might be the best thing to, to buy. You're going to need a couple buckets. Uh, Brooke, would you reach over and just grab that bucket? We can show people about the size bucket. Something you might use for a car wash is a good, we're actually going to submerge all the things right into there. Um, and you need some salt and some hot water and a little bit of dish soap as well. So you're wondering how to make these effects. So I'm going to have Rhett, who worked on this pillowcase yesterday, make another pillowcase and she's going to show us how to do it. So how did we do this yesterday, Rhett? Um, we took some of the smaller elastics and we wrapped them like this mm -hmm. around and we double tied it a little bit. So That's it right. Be tight. Yep. And then I think you want to do that a couple more times because the tighter the elastic the more of the white effect you get. The elastic ba basically works by keeping the dye away from that part, right? Mm -hmm. So you're, are you going to do a double one on that? Mm -hmm. Okay, so she's first wrapping it a little bit at the bottom, and then she'll put another elastic tightly at the top. And she's going to do that all over the pillowcase. So why don't you go do that while Brooke and I work on the swirly shirt. We're going to move this pillowcase here, let you work on that. Okay, so the first thing we, we need to do is prepare our dye bath. You take one package of the dye and you put it into a bucket of water with two cups of water. Not very much. The hotter, the better. Um, so I've already done that. And to that you need to add a cup of salt. And you're saying, salt? Why do I have to add that? It makes the dye stronger. So we're going to add a cup of salt. This really allows the dye to be nice and strong. You want to pour that in for me? And then you can start stirring. Just stir nice and gently. And then it also calls for a tablespoon of just dish soap. I'm not really sure why, but that's what the directions say. Uh, the good thing about Rit Dye, everything is right on the package. So it tells you, you don't have to memorize this, it'll tell you right how to do it. So get that really stirred up because the salt needs to dissolve in there. I think it's pretty stirred. Okay. So after that's stirred up, you then can add up to three gallons of hot water, as hot as you can stand it. This isn't quite three gallons, but I had added a little bit of water earlier. So stir that all together. Okay, so now your dye bath is ready. Why don't you put that back on the ground until we need it. Now we're going to show you how to make the swirly pattern that's on the shirt that, that Rhett has. Brooke's going to make a pink one. So you lay the shirt flat, first of all. And the nice thing about tie-dye, if you have a shirt that is not in perfect condition, last year's shirt, hand-me-down shirt, tie-dye is a perfect way to cover any of the spots that might be on it. Um, so you don't necessarily need to have new shirts. All right, so we're going to take this from the center, and we're going to pull it up, and we're going to start twisting. Now, this is a two-person job. I'm going to have you be the twister, and I'm going to be the flattener. So as Brooke twists this, she wants to leave it fairly flat, and I'm going to help her. You don't want the twist to come up in the air because that's a different effect. This is for the spiral. Good. So I'm going to help by making the shirt be nice and flat. And we're going to get it all gathered around just like that. It kind of ends up looking like a Milky Way. I'm going to hold this up. It looks like a rosette or a Milky Way. You can see that she spiraled it um, but kept it from coming up real high. So now comes time for the elastics. So here, I'm going to hold this and we are going to crisscross the elastics across the top. And that's going to hold our spiral together. So you just keep crisscrossing them. There you go. I happen to like the wide ones. I think they do well. So you end up with your shirt looking like it has a little bullseye on it. And this is going to go right into the dye bath. So um, put on your rubber gloves. 
that's important. Grab this. And in it goes. I have a stir stick in here because you're probably going to need to submerge it and get it right under the water there. And that's going to need to sit for 10 to 30 minutes, depending how strong you want your dye. So let's see how Rhett's doing. How are you doing? You're just about on your last one, it looks like. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm going to get your dye bath down here. What color's yours? Is it orange? Yeah. Did you decide to do orange? Okay. All right, why don't you take that and pop it in. All right. Get one more there. Let's show everybody what it looks like before you throw it in. It looks, ends up looking like a weird hairstyle with all those elastics. Okay, let me do the putting in since I'm the one armed with the rubber gloves. Okay, so this goes in the dye bath. And again, we use our stir stick and just submerge it. Yep, go ahead, stir that right in. We'll be back in a minute to see what our things look like. Thanks, Lynn. After these messages, I'll talk to Whitey and Fred, the pros at Mountainside. But let's first take a minute and peek at Lynn's final product. Here it is, there's our pillowcase, which came out much different than the purple one. Here, Brooke, hold this one up. See how differently they came out. One of the funnest things about tie-dye, it's always a surprise, you never really quite know. This one retained more of the white than that, and sometimes that depends on the fabric uh, and how tightly you did the elastic. So now we're gonna check on the pink shirt, which we are going to unwrap. We'd already unwrapped those uh, elastics during the break, so now we're gonna take the elastics off of this one. You wanna wring out your piece right back into the bucket because you can use this dye. You could dye tie dye your whole house with the. All right, let's see. Here it comes. Two more elastics. Whoa. Ooh. Wow. I think it's going to look good. Whoa. Look how bright that is. That is very good. Ooh, that's Beautiful. Cool. That looks great. So what you want to do is just rinse both of these items in cold water in your stainless steel sink or outside if you don't have stainless steel. Um, and then first couple times you wash them, make sure you wash them alone so you don't end up dyeing everything in your laundry load. So fun things to do in the summer. Tie dye is a great thing to do um, and a fun project for the summer.